We recently had an amazing opportunity to be on Good Morning America, and today we're going to watch back the footage with you for the first time. A few weeks ago at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, we got an email from a Good Morning America producer saying that she wanted to interview us. Uh, we weren't really sure at the time that it was legit, so we decided to reach back out. And by 6 p.m. that night, we were on Zoom with Good Morning America. <laughs> It was crazy. We are super nervous. We have no idea how this is going to turn out. So we have decided to watch it with you guys for the first time. They kept pushing the date back of when we'd actually be on. So we finally decided to start TiVoing it. And yes. it finally aired. So let's watch it. If there is one thing on everyone's mind besides family, the snow, the holiday to-do list, well, it is money. It's those bills we got to pay. And we're about to meet a couple who traded their nine to five for a clever way to make cash. And their tricks might just put a little extra padding in your wallet. <laughs> for this Michigan family, it's Cute. the side hustles that bring in the big bucks. All right, guys, welcome to shipping day around here. We have six items to ship out. Jamie and Sarah McCulley have said goodbye to the nine to five and hello to a new way of making money, mastering okay. the resale market. So interesting because I don't think we've ever said that we quit a nine to five. True. To do it. We were wedding photographers before. We're not. We've nine. never really had nine to fives. Yeah. But Interesting. it's okay. okay. All right. it's, it's, it's looking okay so far. Once we started having kids, we realized that long term, it wasn't really the lifestyle we wanted. We want to be able to spend those summer months enjoying and making memories with yeah. them uh, instead of working 60 to 80 hours a week. We yeah. Okay. Life. So when we did that interview that Tuesday night, we were super nervous. And afterwards, that interview that you just saw, afterwards, we were like, that went horribly. For me, Sarah did great. No. I sounded like a bumbling idiot. So. I don't know. I, the whole thing, we just like, we didn't do well. We didn't feel good about it. Like we're not being hard on ourselves. We just like, yeah. it didn't go great. And so I'm nervous about like what pieces they chose to use because if they make us sound okay, I feel like it's a miracle because <laughs> it was rough. We get, got to choose what we do with that. So they turned to flipping houses, flipping furniture, and now making thousands selling returned items nice that graphics. people no yeah. longer want. Palettes. Our favorite thing to resell recently has been the Amazon return pallets, where you buy an entire pallet of return merchandise from Amazon. Wanting to share their secret of success, the couple created a YouTube channel, which has grown to millions of views and over 140. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, if you rewind it, it says 107,000. <laughs> We have Where more than that get... now, but that's an interesting number, 140,000. 140. We do have millions of views, which is pretty cool, but interesting. That's funny. Huh. Why would and they have picked that number? 140,000 subscribers. Step one, buy a pallet of Amazon returns. Step two, resell the items. Step three, make a profit. Our goal with our YouTube channel is just to teach people different ways to make money outside of a nine to five, whether they're just looking to get ahead financially, uh, by paying off debts. Oh, this is like perfect Hold on. new in package. So it's worth noting, I think, that they have used none of my footage from so far from the interview. I was the one who thought <laughs> I did bad, but we'll see. Okay. I think you're doing great. Like perfect new in package, like literally never been open. So how do you kickstart your own side hustle? So that guy Start small. Or one or two I do like the graphics. To, to find at a thrift store and flip to see if you enjoy the process. Have fun with the process. Don't just flip random items. You gotta find kind of what your interest is and, and what types of things you want to flip or resell. And even though re I'm glad they included that actually because we have been doing a lot of pallets lately, but a lot of people don't have the room for storage for those things and there's a lot of other creative ways to flip things like furniture. That's true. Sarah loves thrift stores. There's lots of different ways besides just pallets. So yeah. I like that's that. That's true. Espresso. Selling can lead to more cash in the bank. Did you send them this, um, these clips or did they no, find them? I sent them the photos. So you um, have no idea like what clips they're using no. from old videos. Okay. No. No. Selling can lead to more cash in the bank. The McCulley say to watch how much you pay. Do your research on those items, find out what those items are selling for, you know, how long they take to sell. The number one way to lose money flipping is by overpaying. And guys, these items, this group of items right over here, they came here from a pallet that cost James. Those are from our garage. They had to send those. I, I didn't think they had blow the paddleboard up because that's a lot of work. It's an inflatable paddleboard. 
These were items we got off a of pallet, and we thought they were pretty cool. They asked us just to send, like, what's on a typical pallet? Can you send us these items? So we're like, sure. So we sent them a paddleboard, a refrigerated cooler thing, a 3D printer, a laptop bag, and a tent. <laughs> Which the 3D, oh no, the laptop bag, Sarah actually had someone bid on eBay for while it was there, and we couldn't sell it to him because... We didn't know when we'd get it back because they kept, like I said, they kept delaying. Uh, yeah, so I had sorry, to just so. say I'm sorry. Yeah, and we sent them good stuff too. We sent them like new products because we thought it'd be impressive, but I kind of wish we could have sold those for Christmas. It's so. true. I got a lot of people on Facebook Marketplace who wanted to buy the paddleboard and the 3D printer, and mm -hmm. I couldn't sell them um, because we had sent them off. And supposedly they have sent these items back to us. We have yet to receive them, <laughs> but hopefully we get them back. That's so funny to that see them. A, like, those were in our garage. The Target tent is not from the same pallet. So that was a little bit of misinformation there, but... Is that what they said? She said they were all from a pallet, I think. Well, they are from pallet, just different pallets, yeah. but... Yeah. okay. Amy and Sarah, $600. You can get these pallets from major retailers like Amazon. It's the discarded items. A lot of them are, like, new, really. Wow. And they can sell for up to 70% of the retail price. So when it's all said and done... We've never thrown out that number. Did we? 70%? Uh, I, I don't remember saying that. Maybe they did okay. in the interview. We usually say we can profit 40 to 50% of our retail value, yes. right? Yes, yes. So if you list, you could list, maybe in the interview we said, because the brand new items we do list a little higher yeah. than 50%. We, you know, we list them at like 70, 75% of retail value, and then we still profit around you know, 50 to 60%. That's true. So like that we maybe is where they said, got it. we were so nervous. I can't even re remember what we said. <laughs> so hopefully it's, yeah, let's keep going. All right. They made up to $2,000 wow. on this palette. That's and Jamie amazing. and Sarah, though, warn that, keep in mind, it does look amazing, but things can show up broken. So yeah. you have to be prepared. We had an article, three articles actually, in CNBC, and they did a great job fact checking. We yes. had to send over lots of documentation. This one was kind of just like, That's true. Whatever. CNBC, like, were so legit on wanting to make sure that it was like real information that we were sending. Like, we had to prove all this financial stuff where the Good Morning America was like just asking us questions and they threw it on the air. Like, we could have said anything. True. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Prepared for yeah. that because a get lot of these with it. So yeah. I like their advice. Exactly. Buy things that you are interested mm -hmm. in or like because you might own them. Yeah, yeah like you might own them. Tent, right? <laughs> that's not what we meant. No, Is it? no, but no, I, okay. I meant do like buy things you enjoy reselling because. Um. What do I mean by that? I don't know. Like you, like Some if you like flipping not, furniture yeah. because you like furniture and like. Yeah, um, or you're more creative, or you're an expert in that subject. Yeah, um, not we, because you yeah. don't own them. Yeah, if you saw our thrift uh, thrifting video we put out recently, we we talk about becoming an expert in a few different categories that interest you because there's so many different ways to yeah. resell. So yeah, yeah, I didn't it's mean okay. you'll own the stuff you buy because eventually you will hopefully resell most of it. We do, yeah, it yeah, yes. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a strawberry tent. And you've got other pitfalls to, to be on the list. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing to keep in mind is your credit card. If you are using a credit card to buy this, you could be in deeper credit card debt. Yeah. It could ultimately, even if you make money selling okay. the pallet, okay. you point, could yeah. ultimately have to owe more. On wait, all wait. That. What does she mean by that? If you. If you make money on the pallet, you could. Oh, like if you let the debt accrue. Hold on. The I'm gonna, yeah, let me. You could ultimately have to owe more on all. I that. think that's what she means. Like, if you put the six hundred dollars on a credit like card. swipe it on a credit card and then you don't pay it off. Or if it maybe if it takes you a while to sell it, maybe she's saying it'll build up interest. Yeah, we definitely yeah. don't recommend that. Yeah, I mean the best way to do pallets is cash, in my opinion. Yeah, and a lot of places only take cash, right. really. So yeah, so I guess I see your point. She was throwing in some. Some Dave some, Ramsey stuff in there. Some I don't fluff. Know. Some fluff. We didn't, I yeah. don't remember ever talking about credit cards, but go ahead. Okay. And, and just really quick, where do people find the returned items on Amazon? Amazon search for uh, pallet, returned <laughs> pallet on okay. Amazon, and other major retailers do this as well. What? <laughs> that, that is, is incorrect not information. <laughs> incorrect information. That is not how you find pallets. What did she say? I'm going to rewind that one again, too. Oh, this is funny. Pallet, returned pallet on okay. Amazon, and other major retailers do this as well. Who knew? Ask. Amazing advice. Thank you. No, so do not. No, do not ask because they'll say, "What are you talking about?" That's, what? 
That's so funny. I think she got I think she got put on the spot. I think that was just like some banter. Okay. And she didn't actually know, so she made it. In that case up. you do want to know the real way to actually find palettes and how I like to do it is by going to Facebook and in the search bar you type in palette liquidation and there are thousands upon thousands of groups and they will be organized by your location. So yeah. like it'll be close yeah. by. At least in our area, there's lots of palette liquidation Facebook groups. Yeah. That's kind of how you go to the places where you can actually pick it out yourself. We definitely discourage buying anything online. We've heard way too many horror stories about people getting scammed. So do yeah. not buy palettes online. You will get scammed. So And definitely don't type in Amazon. Should we do it? Yeah, what does it do? Are we going to type in Here, let me look on Amazon. My phone. Oh yeah, she's going to type it in. Okay, a puzzle, a sweatshirt. No pallets, no pallets. Oh. oh, here's one like mystery box. Maybe a mystery box. But, but out definitely. of, okay, it's $40. It has two stars out of 400 reviews. Yeah. yeah. You really just don't know what you're getting unless you pick it out in person. Yep. And if you look for local groups, you might not have one in your town, but there it's a good chance that there might be one like an hour away. A lot of people will drive many hours to the one that we go to, which is Grand Rapids Palette Liquidation. Who knew? Ask. Amazing advice. Thank you so much. Oh, oh. it's over. It's over. So, uh, they did a good job that though. Was good. That was nice. It was like, longer. I felt like it might be like a 30 second bit. Yeah. It was longer. That was fun. We got our three minutes and 30 seconds of fame. So, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but you never know. Like when opportunities come, you say yes, and yep. who knows what can come of it. So, yes. that's what we did. Right. So, if you are watching this video because you saw us on Good Morning America, let us know in the comments because yeah. I would be interested to know. We did have a, a small jump in subscribers after it aired. That's so true. So if you're here because of that, let us know. That would be interesting. I'd love to say hello. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't checked it out yet, we have an entire playlist actually on our channel called Storytime. Different stories random throughout <laughs> our YouTube journey that we've uh, encountered. So this one will definitely be on there. Check that out. We'll also leave a list of our palette flipping supplies in the link below. <laughs> so check those out. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.